أكبر الله أكبر When it comes to a Muslim, the hadith says, المسلم من سلم المسلمون من لسانه ويده A true Muslim is the one whom all the other Muslimin are safeguarded from the harm of his tongue or his hand. You never talk bad about the other. What problem would you have? You went through a disastrous divorce. People ask you what went wrong. Hey bro, come home. I'll tell you the whole story. For what? <laughs> They'll tell you, listen, you're too slow. Your wife's put it on Instagram already. <laughs> but that's not a Muslim. A Muslim would say, listen, you know what? She was a lovely person, mashallah, worshiper of Allah. I hope I am a lovely person as well, inshallah. You know what? We didn't get along. Incompatibility, whatever happened, happened. Allah forgive her, forgive me. And I wish her the best. And I hope that she wishes me the best. And I want you to wish both of us the best. People will look at you and say, but so then why did you separate? <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. We have in our hearts such hatred that those whom we've had children with at the time when the marriage breaks down beyond repair, we tend to start speaking evil about them. May Allah forgive us all. May Allah forgive us all. We are human. By nature, we may falter. The, the sooner you realize, the better it is for your heart. The more your salah will help you when you fulfill it. Imagine when I'm reading salah with a clean heart. What is, what is, where are my thoughts going? They are going towards Allah. I, I arrive at a level known as Ihsan. Ihsan is to worship Allah as though you are watching Him. And if you can't do that, the next level of Ihsan is to worship Allah knowing that at least He is watching over you. Subhanallah. That is Ihsan. But with us, the Iqama is going on and we're saying, you know, the guy who's reading the Iqama, I got a problem with him. So now already you're starting to think, hey, and about, and the Imam says, Allahu Akbar. Next thing when he says, Walad Dalin, instead of starting, Inna A'tayna Kal Kawthar, he starts from the center of the Quran and you're saying, no ways. I, I, I had to go to spur for a meal. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. May Allah forgive us. We're thinking about so many other things. Yet we are supposed to be plugged in with Allah. Forget about that. When the, when the Imam continues a little bit more, you know what happens? We get upset and angry. The man didn't go down in Rukur. And then we start saying, when is he going down? When is he going down? And so where is your mind? Your mind is somewhere else. Take it easy. Relax. Do you know that a lot of the young people, and this I've been told about, it may not be true in Cape Town, they know which masjid reads quicker than the other. Do you know that? <laughs> they will drive for half an hour to finish a taraweeh, which takes 20 minutes less than another one, not realizing that it took you an hour to go and come back. But they won't mind that. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, it is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us to do, and that is to ensure that recitation is correct in salah. This is why I tell the Huffad and those who read the Quran, do you know there is a hadith and I'm sure a lot of us would have heard it off by heart. Here in Cape Town, there are so many Huffad, mashallah, beautiful recitation. Do you know there is a hadith that says a person who has the Quran in their heart, Allah will tell them on the day of judgment. The hadith says, يُقَالُوا لِصَاحِبِ الْقُرْآنِ اِقْرَأْ وَارْتَقِي وَرَتِّلْ كَمَا كُنْتَ تُرَتِّلُوا فِي الدُّنْيَا فَإِنَّ مَنْزِلَكَ عِنْدَ آخِرِ آيَةٍ تَقْرَأُهَا I'm sure you may have heard the hadith. Do you know what it means? It means a person who has the Quran will be told on the day of judgment, read and keep on going up as you're reading. So when you read one verse, you'll be one level higher. You read another one, you'll be something like that. You keep on going higher as you read and continue going up. Read in the same way you used to read in the world. Read what? For me, the highlight of that whole hadith is connected to the wording kama kunta turattilu fid dunya as you used to read in the dunya, in the world. You will not be able to read in another way. The only way you will be able to read on that day is as you used to read in this world. And the hadith says, read in that way, keep on going up. Your rank will keep on increasing until you get stuck. The last verse you read is where you will stop. So imagine with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listening to what